Hi everyone! I wanted to talk to you today about a new series that I want to start doing maybe every month or so, but I need your help with it. It's going to be all kinds of tips. I have the first couple already planned and they're on specific topics. Today is on baking soda, but these tips can be anything. They can be style, makeup, uh, household tips, just any little odds and ends tips that I'm going to put them all together. They may not have, a, you know, a single topic for enough for one video. So I'll do a mishmash of everybody's tips. Now, if you send one to me, I will give you credit and I hope to test all of them. If it happens to be one that works for mildew towels or mildew on the sponge, not only will you get credit, you will get my undying gratitude. <laughs> so today on baking soda, I have eight tips that I want to talk to you about. They're all quick and easy. And these are kind of like old fashioned tips that your grandmother probably used to do. And we now buy all these expensive products and baking soda is amazing. So the very first thing is it freshens carpets. So you sprinkle it on, leave it for about 15 minutes, vacuum it up and your carpets are much fresher. I find this is extremely great, especially if you have pets. Number two is for your coffee machine. We all know that after you make coffee, you should rinse it out and let it air dry before you put it away, but periodically you should clean it. I have to admit, I've never done this until I was making this video and I wanted to test all these things, so I did this. I put a quarter cup of baking soda in with four cups of water, ran it through the empty coffee machine, rinsed it out afterwards. Wow, what a difference in the quality of my coffee. I did not realize how many years of grime I probably had built up in there and it tastes much better after you clean it. So I definitely recommend that one. Um, Number three is put one cup into your dishwasher and just run it through on a rinse cycle. This is really good because products build up and so this will get rid of the product buildup in your dishwasher and your dishes and glasses will be cleaner once it doesn't have all the product buildup inside of there. It gets rid of the grime for you. Number four is the same idea in your laundry. It'll get rid of all the buildup and the grime, but it also brightens your clothes. So just add one cup into your wash and it'll brighten and really enhance the colors of the clothes. Number five is for your fridge. I think we all know about this one. You just put it in there. I use this for the leftover baking soda that you, you know, is no longer really active enough to use for baking. I stick it in there until I'm gonna use it for one of these other purposes because it absorbs all the odors. Number six is in the bath. I did not know this, but apparently it neutralizes the acids on the skin and it washes off all the oils and perspirations and it makes your skin feel really soft afterwards. So I enjoyed testing that one. <laughs> Number seven is something that I referenced in my teeth whitening video, which is to use the baking soda on your toothbrush, I like it on an electric toothbrush, to get rid of your stains. Then you can use some kind of whitening product because once you get rid of your stains with the baking soda, your teeth are much more receptive to the whitening. So I have a little container of baking soda that I showed you in my whitening teeth whitening video that I keep in the little cup where I have my toothpaste, my whitening pan, all my stuff, and I have this baking soda in there. I try to use that at least once a week to whiten my teeth. I use the whitening try for every night. <laughs> I don't always, but the baking soda I try to do once a week. And then the last thing is my favorite. Believe it or not, this is something I've been doing for years and it really works. You put it on your hair when it's wet in the shower and it gets rid of your product buildup. After I do this, I notice my hair is softer and it's shinier and my roots are less dull and drab because all of the hairspray buildup that I have because I do use a lot of product in my hair. So those are my eight tips on baking soda. Like I said, comment below. It doesn't have to be just on baking soda. Any tips you have that I use in a future video, I will definitely incorporate. And like I said, I would so thank anybody who has any ideas for mildewy towels. I've used vinegar. I don't want to use bleach, but anyhow, I look forward to all your ideas regardless of what the topic is. So thank you so much for watching. As always, I greatly appreciate it and we'll talk to you next time.